Hey everyone, it's Lombardowski, founder at Million Dollar Party Girl with episode 14 of Social Girl Live. Welcome to, um, by the way, our brand new VIP members that just joined in the last week. I think everybody woke up and said, I need to learn how to do Facebook parties. <laughs> Winter is here. Winter's not coming. Winter is here. Raise your hand if you've already had cancellations. If you're doing home parties, right? The struggle is real. You better have a Facebook party strategy to be able to have a plan B for those business interruptions. Right, so I'm gonna be sharing three things that you want to do to use your business page to connect with more customers, increase your follow-up, and even increase your Facebook party results. So the first thing I want you to do, I made a graphic for you guys. Check out, go to your business page, Right, right underneath right here, it says work. That's your work. If you have a business page, you need to link it to your personal page. If you haven't done that already. And so just hover over the link that's highlighted where it says where you're telling people you're working. The number one thing I'm finding by working with you guys is that people are linking it to the name of their direct sales company, not their personal business page, even though they have a business page. And for some direct sales companies, people can go directly there and shop, and that order ends up with another consultant. So hover over and see where you are taking people when they wanna find you and do business with you. If it's not your business page, then go here. Go to your About tab. That's where you're going to edit it. And literally just delete any references. <laughs> yeah. This was true for Joy. <laughs> She's like, that was a huge like bulb moment for me. We checked Joy's page. It was going to her company's business page. And their call to action button said shop now. Which meant people that thought that was her business page, they're not paying attention. They see shop now. They're going to click and they're going to shop. Right? That's not happening anymore. <laughs> Joy fixed that. So go to your belt. Just delete anything that is not related to your business. You might find you have who knows where you're sending people. Trust me, I've seen some pretty crazy stuff. And then all you do is just start typing in your business page name and it will automatically come up. And then save that. Okay? Number two, I want you to turn on your messaging tab. So what a lot of um, people don't know is you have a messaging tab on your business page, but you have to turn it on. So go to your settings. I'll show you a little graphic. It's up the top right there on your business page. It says settings. Click on that, and then you'll see where it says messages. Now what's really cool is that when people reply to a comment, on a Facebook party, not only can you reply back, right, like we normally do, we reply to comments, but you can message back. You can direct message from a comment. So when somebody has a question, they're ready to buy, they're booking a party. Again, you do not have to wait a friend request and then hope they see that message. You can message directly back through that comment to their business page. This is a game changer if you have been losing business because you have not had a really efficient way to quickly follow up. So you gotta turn it on. <laughs> and I'll have to do a whole nother show about the fun things that you can do with that message tab. You can put an away message, you can have an instant reply, you can do all kinds of fun stuff, but we'll save that for another episode of Social Girl Live. All right, last but not least, I want you guys to turn on your reviews. And I'm gonna show you right now, right? So here, once you click on your settings tab, this is what you're looking for. Your messaging and your reviews. All right, and then you're just gonna click here, edit. And here's an example. So this was a um, Facebook event I did for uh, Facebook party training, created an event for it. 
Here's people commenting about the event, and you can see right there, I can message them right back with an answer. Uh, this was uh, Christina. She was looking to register. So I got a new person registered because I was able to message her back. So really important. Okay. Yeah, Suzanne's saying, I love that feature. It's super duper awesome. All right. So uh, reviews, right? That was the last thing you want to turn on. So this is pretty cool. Up until about six months ago, you could only have reviews on your business page if you were a local business. So there were people that were actually claiming they were a local business, even though they were not, just to get that extra added feature. Why? Because we live in a review society. We live in a review culture. We buy based on reviews, <laughs> right? Think about it. When you're going to a restaurant, you're checking out Yelp, right? How many stars? You're looking to see what people thought about it. Hotels. You're booking a trip. You're going to TripAdvisor. And so reviews are really important and an awesome feature to grow your business, but not only to let your customers talk about you, right? So part of your follow-up, I want you to add this to your customer follow-up. Turn on your reviews because you no longer need to be a local business. Ask for a review because what happens when you review something on Facebook? Well, that review could end up in the news feed. What? Yes. Depending on that, those person set, settings, you know how when you check your news feed, right, you'll see when somebody commented on something or in a group or on a page. Well, somebody's talking about your business, their friends can see it. So what are their friends going to say? Oh, Sarah's doing, oh, Sarah's getting her jamberry from <laughs> Marcy. <laughs> They're going to let me check it out, right? And that way when people come to your page or they were to ask you a question or they want to do business with you, you can say, you know, check, check out the reviews on my page. That is social proof of why people want to do business with you. But more importantly, it increases your reach by letting your customers tell their friends about you. Wouldn't you love for that to be happening? and for people, more customers to find you because they saw their friends talking about you. So this is a really simple way that you can use your business page to get other people talking about you and let their friends see it on Facebook where they're hanging out all day long, right? We know that. So I'm actually gonna give you guys a call to action. And if you don't know, once you turn it on, here is the website to your review page. It's facebook.com slash PG for page slash your business name slash reviews. So I want you to go there and test it out. <laughs> Give me a review. Only if it's a good one. If you have nothing nice to say, then don't do it. <laughs> now, what happens if you get a bad review? Well, that can happen too, right? Um, hopefully not, but um, you know, don't stress it. You cannot remove, remove a review, in case you're wondering, you cannot delete it, um, but you can respond to it. So, you know, life's not perfect. We might not make everybody happy, but at least if you do get a bad review, you can comment back. And by the way, when you get a good review, make sure you like it and comment back. Just like you would if somebody gave you a compliment in real life, you wanna say thank you. You know, write a little personal message. Uh, to that person and thank them for leaving your review. Don't just leave that review go silent. So, thanks everyone. Have a really great night. We'll see you next Wednesday night. Social Go Live, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Bye everyone. Thanks.